Hey everybody, welcome back to another What's For Dinner. Please ignore my scratchy voice. I've been in a fight with some pollen. Right now, the pollen is winning, but I will arise victorious. <laughs> and ignore my watery eyes because it's just craziness. I hate pollen. It used to never bother me until I think last year is when it started really coming against me. It's not right. Anyway, yes, welcome back to another What's For Dinner. This time I have two summer slow cooker recipes to share with y'all. This video is also a collab with Mel from In The Kitchen With Mama Mel. I'm gonna have her channel linked down below and her video for today. She shares lots of What's For Dinner videos, hauls. She shares my love for Dollar General. I'm telling y'all they have really cute stuff these days. She also shares lots of grocery hauls and things like that on her channel so y'all definitely go check out her video when you are finished here. Like I said I'll have all her stuff linked down below. Alright we're gonna start with the second recipe that I made this week. It's creamy chicken and summer squash casserole in the slow cooker. It's a really long name. It's good though. <laughs> everybody I'm getting supper started in the slow cooker I have three pounds of boneless chicken in here I went ahead and sliced it up into a little bit of smaller pieces that way it would be easier to get out whenever it's all done so tonight we're having creamy chicken and summer squash slow cooker casserole thank you Ooh, yeah okay in this bowl we're gonna put 16 ounces of sour cream so that's gonna be this whole container Now we're putting in two cans of cream of chicken. Half a teaspoon of garlic salt. A fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. A whole diced onion. And one and a half cups of shredded cheese. Okay, so we're gonna mix this all together and then we just add in the squash that we sliced up. So you may need like a gigantic bowl. <laughs> I should have used the biggest bowl. Oh my goodness. I might have to dump it in that one. I think I can I think I can make it happen in here, but yeah. Definitely use a big bowl. This is kind of reminding me of my favorite squash casserole recipe. Alright, now we bring this back and we're gonna dump all of the squash mixture right on top of the chicken. I did spray my slow cooker too. I can't remember if I told y'all that or not, but I did spray it. Okay, so now we're just gonna spread this out over the top of the chicken. I think this is gonna be so good, y'all. I really do, I love squash. Now, the last thing we do is put a cup of breadcrumbs over the top. I actually think like Ritz crackers or something would be really good instead of the breadcrumbs, but I'm gonna follow the recipe. I'm actually just gonna sprinkle them on here though. Instead of measuring out a cup, we're just gonna sprinkle them over the top. All right, now this can cook on high for four hours or low for eight. We're going high for four tonight. Boop, boop, boop. And that's it. Later on, we're going to make some cornbread and pinto beans that's going to be going with this. We're gonna go ahead and get the chickens feed and water this okay. afternoon. Time to get the eggs. Here they come, Manny. Okay, uh, scratch that. It seems that when I wasn't looking, uh, all my cornmeal got used up. 
I'm totally the only one who uses it so I uh, used the last of it and forgot to order some more <laughs> so now we turn to buttermilk biscuits it's totally fine because I know some people who will be very happy to put apple jelly on their biscuit with supper <laughs> Sissy's helping. Okay, now we need two cups of buttermilk. Thank you, baby. He brought me this. Thank you. He's getting something else. I go. Where'd he go? Oh, you got something? Thank you, Manny. Where'd he go? There it is. <laughs> now, Sissy, we need two cups of buttermilk. One cup and two cups. All right, I'm gonna mix them up and then we'll make them into the biscuits, okay? Okay. y'all this recipe was really good the only thing I didn't love about it is it was kind of watery on the top but after it sat for a little while it did start to thicken up some so maybe let it just stay on warm for about 30 or 40 minutes or so before you're ready to eat and it won't be so liquidy on the top but it was so good it kind of like I said in the video it kind of reminded me of the squash casserole that we make I think it would be really good with Ritz crackers on top instead of the breadcrumbs like just crumble up some Ritz crackers and maybe even wait and put those crackers on for that 30 or 40 minute time that you're just going to keep it on warm that way they're not so mushy or anything but it was really good everybody liked that Aldra even said that she didn't even know she liked squash she didn't know it was squash that she was eating and she was like this is good and then when I told her it was squash she was like what so yeah this one was definitely a winner and definitely one we will make again moving on to the next one slow cooker barbecue sweet chili chicken sandwiches I have two very long name recipes this time sorry here we go Okay y'all, for this recipe, I actually had to remake it because my slap happy self, <laughs> I accidentally formatted my memory card when the footage was on it where I made this for supper one night and I lost all the footage, so no big deal. I just decided to make it for lunch. So this is pretty early in the morning. I'm still in my pajamas and all and my voice was completely like almost non-existent. So I'm just voiceovering this part. So I put the chicken in the slow cooker. I'm just putting some salt and pepper on it and I'm gonna put some of this Blackstone all-purpose seasoning. So since I'm making this for lunch and there's not as many of us here at lunchtime, I didn't make as much as I would if I was making this for supper, but I'm going to have the original recipe down below for y'all. So once I get all the seasonings on there, I'm just going to put the top on and it's going to cook on low for four hours. So while the chicken was cooking, we just went about our Saturday business. The kids were coloring, drawing some pictures. We went outside for a little bit. And of course, I was doing laundry and Manly loves to help. <laughs> Okay, so when the chicken was done, I took it out of the slow cooker and shredded it up and then put it back in. Now we're putting barbecue sauce. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce that you like. We usually use Sweet Baby Ray's, so I'm just putting that in there. And I'm gonna put some of this Asian sweet chili sauce that I get from Walmart. If you don't like sweet chili sauce, you can totally leave this out and just do, you know, shredded barbecue chicken sandwiches. There is a little bit of spice to that sweet chili sauce, but it's not extreme. So I just put a little bit of it in with the chicken and then I'm adding more barbecue sauce in here. When I stirred it up, I saw that it needed more. So I usually don't measure it. I just dump it in there and then see if I need to add more. Thank you. 
So there we go. That's it. A very easy summer dinner. Sweet chili barbecue chicken sandwiches. I made a little summer berry salad on the side and some french fries. Okay, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to go check out Mel's recipe. She's got some really good ones. Everything's going to be linked down below. And make sure y'all come back tomorrow. We are about to start the birthday prep. We're going to be making the cake and getting ready for Sissy's birthday tomorrow. Mm -hmm.